Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a watch list using Fidelity. The only requirement is that you have a login. So right away, let's get into it. Go under news and research, and then you'll see watch list right here. Just click on watch list. Once the watch list comes up, you will see this blank screen where you have to create a new watch list. So you start by clicking this plus button right here, and then we're going to make up the name. So I'm going to say, you know, just watch list, just to make it simple. Hit create. Now it's going to want you to add symbols. So add symbols mean you are adding the stock. So you go up to the top left of the screen right here where it says add symbols, click the plus sign, and then you can start typing in stocks. So I type in Tesla and then a bunch of things come up that relate to Tesla. So I'm going to click on this one and now you can continue to add the stocks that you want to watch. Now, let's say you don't know, you know, how to spell, like you don't know Broadcom, right? It's A-V-G-O. If you don't know that, you can just type in Broadcom and you'll see that as I type in Broad, Broadcom comes up and it shows the symbol. Let's do another one like Lucid Motors. If you weren't sure, you could type this in and then you will see Lucid Group comes in as well. Now we have five of them listed. We're going to click Add. Once you hit Add, you are going to see that it's going to notify you that they pop up. And you're going to get this basic monitoring tab. Now, there's a lot to learn here, so I'll go through it step by step. So first, what we'll do is go through these tabs, and then I'm going to break down these little bullet points. So this is the overview where it just shows you the stock symbol. It shows you the last current market price on it. It shows you the day's gain, the total, the value, quantity, and paper trade. And let's say you forgot a stock that you wanted to add. You click on add symbols right in the corner over here. So if you click on monitoring, what it does, it'll show you like during market hours. It'll show you what the current bid is and what the ask is. This doesn't really apply right now because the market's closed today. But this is what the current bid and ask was. You can also see the volume on the day of how many shares were traded as well as the day range. So you can see that Tesla traded from 435 to 462, which is pretty volatile. Just to give you an example, look at Lucid 310 to 343, or a little less in Apple, which was 255 to 258. Next, let's say you wanna see the dividends, you click dividends, and it'll show you the X date. What is the X date? That is the date that you need to purchase shares and hold on to them to be eligible to receive a dividend. So if you bought Nvidia December 5th, you will be eligible to receive pay date of one penny per share on December 27th. Let's do one more example. If you own shares of Apple on or before November 8th of 2024, you will receive 25 cents for every share that you own and you will get paid on November 14th. And it also shows the yield. So Nvidia pays a 0.03% yield Apple pays a 0.39% yield, where Broadcom pays a 1.02% yield. Next, you can look at fund performance. Now, this doesn't really apply unless you were to put in, let's say, an actual fund like FSPGX. I made a video on this. I'll just add it. I'll, I'll put that one at the end as well so you can see. But if you click fund performance, it'll show the symbol. So if we go back to overview, you will see the stocks that we picked. Tesla, NVIDIA, Apple, AVGO, Lucid, and then you'll have FSPGX, which is a mutual fund or index fund. So if you do click fund performance, it'll only show the ones that are within that broad. So if you see here, it'll show FSPGX, Fidelity Large Cap Growth. I'll post this video on this because I have this in my YouTube portfolio and I continue to buy it every single week. Next, moving forward, let's go to the detailed quote. Now you can get a detailed quote about the stocks that you were watching. So Tesla, let's say, it'll show you the last price at $460. It'll show you the analyst ratings are bearish at 2.9 rating, usually out of 10. It'll show you the 90-day average volume. It'll show you the P-E ratio, which I think is very useful because look at this. Tesla is 118, NVIDIA is 55, Apple's 42, and Broadcom is 181. So very overpriced. Next, you'll see the market cap. What is the market cap of these companies? Tesla's at $1.48 trillion, that T is for trillion, and NVIDIA is $3.43 trillion. And then just to bring it much smaller, look at Lucid stock at $9.64 billion. It'll also show these shares outstanding. It'll show your short percentage interest. 
and you'll notice that the share is short. So notice that you see here that the 9% of Lucid is share short. So people, it kind of gives you an idea. People think, I would assume that if the short interest is high, most likely the analyst ratings is probably low as well. And this will show you days to cover, price to cover, and all that. Next, what I like to do is I want to show you these little bullet points because if you click on these bullet points, they give you options. So if you click right on it, you can hit buy. So you can do this during before or after market hours or during it. You can click buy. It'll bring up a tab to buy it. You can do sell. You can click on research, which is nice. You can set the alert, which I want to show you right now. So let's set the alert. So you click on set alert. It'll bring you to this screen. And it looks like it's loading, but it's not actually coming up. Let's try one more time. Set alert. Maybe that's something Fidelity's got to work on because it's uh, not coming up. But that's how you would do it. You click here, set alert. Let me know on your screen if it's actually working. For, for some reason, for mine, it's not working. You can also click research, which I like. So you click research on NVIDIA. And it's going to give you the news. It's going to give you, you know, what's the latest thing that's coming out, whether the news is from Benzinga or Reuters. You get an idea. Now, when you click on research, it also gives you this whole screen to go through. You have overview chart. You can go through the dividend and earnings on it. You can go through the market sentiment on it. And it gives you this whole detailed view. So you can get an idea on what the analyst ratings are. You can also compare this stock to others. So you can compare NVIDIA to the industry average. Now you can see its competitors, Intel, Qualcomm, AMD, AMBA. You can also look at the statistics, which I like to do. And it'll show you the key statistics, which is like PE ratio and all that. So definitely a lot to go through here. And I don't want to get into the weeds because I want to just focus on this. But that is how you create a watch list. And then if you want to create another watch list, just click here, and manage watch list. And then you're able to delete it if you want. You can edit it with this little pen or you can star it as well. You can create another watch list if you want. You click this plus sign and then you can put like watch list penny stocks. And then you just click create. And now when you go up here and you click under watch list, you have two options. You can go to your first watch list or we can go to the penny stocks one. So we'll go back to this one. And then there's your watch list. So you can make as many watch lists as you want. And if you want to delete the watch list, very simple, you click up here, manage watch list, and then you just click this little dumpster and it's deleted. Now there is, it'll tell you successfully deleted. And now there's only the one watch list. My channel trading simplified. If you're interested in more fidelity information, you can go order my playlist right here for Fidelity Index Funds and ETFs. Here you will get basically a breakdown of multiple index funds and ETFs that you could be watching. Also, there is how to set up automatic investments, one of my most popular videos. Everything Fidelity related on this. If you go under my playlist, you will definitely see a lot more, whether it's day trading, current events, and market analysis. Your beginner's guide to investing if you want to see more videos like this. If you're a Vanguard member, you go on Vanguard Investments or Active Day Trading on Fidelity Active Trader Pro, where I break down how to do pretty much everything. And I just want to show you the one thing on it. Under the Day Trading on Fidelity, you will get other explanations on like order types. You also get MACD, RSI explained, Trade Armor on Fidelity. So there's a lot of Fidelity on here that you can learn if you're just looking to learn how to use the platform or Fidelity Active Trader Pro.